please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos let's continue and understand the next question next question is also related to ldap so in the last lecture we have understand how we can configure our client machine so that the users would able to you know authenticate with the ldap server this is what we have understand and one more thing if you can remember while we were trying to you know log in to the ldap servers we were not able to get the home directory so in this lecture we have to configure the auto fs so that the home directory should able to you know automatically or auto mounted on the client machine so that the users would able to get their home directories so this is what we have to do it so let's understand what all the informations we have in the ticket so this is my ldap servers and from the ldap servers this home directory is exported to all my client machines so slash home slash guest so what does it mean it means that the users home directory would inside this directory so the users home directory would be like slash home guest ldap 1 or 2 3 whatever users we have and uh, ldap's home directory should be auto mounted locally okay so this is what we have and one more condition home directories must be writable by the users okay and uh, while you were while you were able to log in to any of the users from 1 through 20 the only home directory that is accessible from your system is 20 this x x means your system suppose my system is server 9 so they are saying only the home directory which is accessible from the server 9 that would be your user ldap user 9 okay although we have users from ldap user 1 till 20 that is these are the users we have available on this my ldap servers but they are saying from your server that is your server 9 only the users who would able to log into the ldap server that would be only ldap user 9 so i'm coming here and let me show how we can do this so first of all we have to you know enable few services system ctl enable sss sd service this is service i'm getting an error it is this one okay and uh, we need to start the service as well apart from that we have to check for this our user would be this one ldap user 9 so i'm able to get if i'm trying for some other user 4 i'm not getting okay and uh, we have to install auto fs i believe auto fs is already installed now okay now we have to configure few files the first one is this one adc auto dot master dot d and uh, i'm going to create a file like uh, any file you can create here it is up to you i'm creating home one dot auto fs and here i have to put the entry so this was exported and uh, i have to give the file name i'm giving this auto dot home one the same entry you have to put it in the exam as well and uh, now we have to configure this file let me get this file again so the file which we have mentioned in this file it was auto dot home one here we have to mention like ldap user 9 i want only this user should able to authenticate read write sync writable access and my ldap server is classroom dot example dot com colon and uh, this is the directory which is exported from my client machine okay and the last i have to use this and percent so this is what i have to do it okay and uh, I believe a few files I had already created I am deleting it this is what you you not need to do it so don't be confused I am just deleting few files ok 
okay you are not supposed to you know delete this file okay i am just doing because this is my test server so so many files i have already created that's why i am removing it okay after that we have to restart the system ctl auto fs okay now i'm trying to log in with ldap user 9 now you can see that i am getting the home directory now earlier i was not getting the home directory it was mounted under root only okay and i'm here and i'm going to create few files like test test one test one two three okay so these are the files which i have created now i'm going to my ldap server this is my ldap server so this is my ldap server so i am here now on my ldap server and uh, the users which was created here you can see that in the etc password file all the users are here so i am going inside this cd home this guest and ldap 9 so whatever the you know files I have created there on my client machine, you can see it is created on this LDAP server. So it means that actually I am using this server, server 9, to authenticate to the LDAP server. So all the users that is centralized created on my LDAP server, this server, and I am communicating or logging to my LDAP servers via from this servers. Okay. If you can remember there were a lot of other servers as well but if i am trying to log in some other servers it won't allow me okay okay so this is what the question all about again i am coming back to my question okay so this was a question we have already done all the things okay so friend that's all for this lecture hope you have understand how we can do this so whatever the steps i have you know tell in the lectures you have the same you have to follow so bye bye take care and if you have time Please join with me in the next lecture. And one more thing, if you want to you know, understand the LDAP, the complete idea about LDAP, you can enroll my the course that is Advanced Linux System Administration. So on that course module, I have discussed LDAP in a detailed way so that you can understand what all the things, how we can configure the LDAP servers and what are the configuration files we have in the LDAP servers, uh, the meaning of each configuration file and how we can configure our LDAP servers with the domain and all those things we have understand in this course. So friends, if you want to, you can refer that. So bye-bye, take care and if you have time, please join with me in the next lecture.